Welcome back friends. Today let's talk about pteridophytes classification. Before that, we will just discuss about what are the general characteristics of pteridophytes. Pteridophytes form a dominant flora during the Cretaceous period of Paleozoic era. They are simply known as vascular cryptogams because they are having vascular tissue in their body and they reproduce by means of spores and they do not produce seeds. They do not produce seeds and they are known as snakes of plant kingdom. They are simply known as snakes of plant kingdom. And uh, the main plant body is sporophytic and usually differentiated into root, stem, and leaves in which where roots are advantageous means the roots helps in the absorption of water and minerals and after maturation these roots get disintegrated. The vascular tissue is easily differentiated into xylem and phloem where in which xylem lacking the vas vessels and phloem lacking its companion cells where exception is present in equisetum and selaginella where vessels are present in it where in this plants seeds are completely absent where the sporangium is formed by a group of spores and forms sporophylls the gametophyte of these plants are very small and they are less differentiated. The gametophyte male bearing antheridia and female having the archegonia, in which antheridia bearing anthrozoites, but females bearing that is archegonia bearing uspears. They, they show alternation in generation uh, and the external water is essential to complete their life cycle. Secondary growth is absent but in the isolates where you can see the secondary growth. And uh, most primitive vascular plants are simply known as pteridophytes. Pteridophytes form a having a great means they are having a long fossil history. Now let's talk about pteridophyte classification. As I have already mentioned that a plant kingdom is divided into two. There are cryptogamous and phenorogamous. Then these cryptogamous are known as non-flowering plants. Whereas phenorogamous means flowering plants. In the same way where the cryptogams are having pteridophytes. Now, pteridophytes having four subphylum. They are Coelophyta, Lycophyta, Sphenophyta, and Filicophyta. Now, let's talk about what is Coelophyta, how they are differentiated in this phylum. Let's look at it here and then. Where the coelophytum in this type vascular tissue is present only on the stems, they are having only on the stem, and they are having the, the stems are modified into rhizoids, and these rhizoids are helpful for absorption of water and minerals, and the spores are formed, and the leaves they lack leaves, you can see the absence of leaves in this, and the spores are mainly pomosporous type. The example for this is a Coelophytum is the example for the coelophyta. Example is coelophytum, and let's see how this character means. What type of they are mainly? They in which in what? Where lycophyta is also known as lipidophyta, microphyllophyta. We can call lycophyta in two different names. One is lipidophyta, and uh, 
microphyllophyta let's see what what is the different from the coelophyta and uh, lycophyta in this lycophyta they are having vascular tissue the vascular tissue is present in all parts of the plant body means they are in this type the plant body is differentiated into root to stems and leaves but we can see the vascular tissue presence in all parts of the plant body and where they are having the spores are pre present they are combined to form a cone shaped and they are simply known as cones or strobiles because they are formed like a cone shaped and uh, so that uh, where they form like that and uh, where they are having the spores are mainly two types they are homosporic type and heterosporic type what are the examples for a homosporic type example for homosporic type is a lycopodium is the best example for homosporic type and a heterosporic type example is selaninella and uh, let's look up at for uh, what is the difference for this uh, anthophyta or sphenophyta sphenophyta in this type the plant body is thin and uh, silica deposition is seen on the stems and uh, where leaves are present uh, these leaves are arranged in coral around the nod they are arranged in a coral like that uh, and where the stem appears like a ridges and grooves like and uh, these are mainly homosporic type example for this is equisetum is best example for this uh, type swing of type and let's see what is the difference uh, in a uh, filicophyta or telophyta in this type these are commonly known as fans means their leaves appear like a fan shaped and uh, spores are present in this uh, spores are uh, the plant body is uh, differentiated into root stem and leaves and uh, spores are mainly uh, they are placed uh, under the leaves means spores are under the spores are formed under the sporophylls spores are formed under the sporophylls and uh, what are the examples for this in this type they are uh, having homosporic type and heterosporic type and uh, let's look up at uh, what are the examples for homosporic type there are uh, dryptilis telis adiantum are examples for homosporic type and uh, examples for heterosporic type in this heterosporic type is uh, examples are marsilia and uh, ophioglossum ophioglossum is also known as understem and uh, marsilia they are having some different names uh, let's how let's see how what, how the development of sporophyte takes place and uh, they are divided into two they are mainly eusporangiate and uh, leptosporangiate eusporangiate these are very primitive type leptosporangiate these are very advanced type eusporangiate these are formed by a group of cells but not by a single cell but if when comes to leptosporangiate type in which they are formed by a single cell in a eusporangiate you can see the presence of a, means they have many jacketed layer in which you can see the spores are more than 2000 but when come to leptosporangiate type in this type you can see only very few spores and uh, what are the examples for eusporangiate and leptosporangiate let's see eusporangiate examples there are selaginella coelotum equisetum lycopodium and what are the examples for uh, leptosporangiate type example for leptosporangiate type uh, they are uh, selvenia azolla marsilia tripteris these are the main points which are uh, which are should be known in the topic pteridophyte classification. I hope guys this video is helpful. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you.